Hello everyone, Fox here, and welcome back to some more Danganronpa V3. As you can see, we are here for Trial uh, Chapter 3, which um, it was a pretty uh, brutal chapter, honestly. Lost both. I'll do a little recap for those who want it, but. Uh, we lost both Anji and Tenko, which, you know, it's not gr I mean, it's not great that we lost two people. One of those was probably the best, th best person we could have lost. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna just go over the handbook real quick to check, just do a brief look over of all the truth bullets. The uh, Necronomicon. Oh right, she was, had this cut on the forehead but didn't bleed much so it clearly happened after death. Had some tape. I have no idea what that has to do with the murder though. The same with the upside down effigies. Uh, both doors were locked. One's a sliding door, one's uh, uh, the other type of nut lock. Um, but there was gold leaf on the back lock. Lock picking skills. She locked herself in. Blood on the katana. I'm still not a hundred percent sure that that was the murder weapon, but it's possible. Caged child, which was a whole thing. Uh, the Kibo flashlight function. Uh, the magic circle. The loose floorboard. Crouched position. Stone, a cage which has some blood on it, and then the sheet that also has some blood on it. That shoe, the funk in the seance, the hole in the corner where you could throw a weapon down. Small amount of blood under the floorboards. But that was already dried blood. Yeah, it was a far away from where Tenko. Hmm. I have no idea what that has to do with this entire thing. The sickle. The crossbeam was cut. Bloody Kokichi. That, I think that's just how I refer to Kokichi is, ah, bloody Kokichi. Anyway, so that's our stuff. <sighs> the only person I can think who did this was Imiko. She seems like the clear and obvious murderer for these two cases. That being said, I'm also putting like a hedge bet on Kaito because we haven't really seen him at all this chapter. He's always been hiding, which means he could have been anywhere, technically. So let us go ahead and see what trial has to offer. Oh boy. begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. Thank you. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, 
Refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! All right, Monokuma. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be much help this time. Hmm. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I mean, it's not like you were really going to help the investigations, but understandable. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. What? Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. I mean, that's fair. They are both weirdos. I mean, everyone in this room is a weirdo, basically. Hmm. Who did it? Oh, wow. Yimiko. Who killed Angie and Tenko? That is a murderous vibe that Himiko is giving me. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. That's true. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Hmm. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. Samugi! Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Samugi, you're overthinking it. <laughs> Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Thank you, Kaito. Sort of. Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Yeah, that's true. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? Um, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. Alright. Time to relearn the buttons, because I always forget... committed by the recently deceased they came back to life and killed two of our classmates no so that, that was a, did work that that's a lot of good news who was resurrected i wonder angie did say she was going to bring rantaro back oh yeah she yes. did rantaro was resurrected the culprit is the late rantaro amami Please stop it! Okay. This isn't about believing in reviving the dead. I have to focus on their statements. Mm. Were all those statements correct? This crime was committed by the recently deceased. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! So, ritual did work? Hmm. Who was resurrected? I wonder. Yeah, I think I think it's Necronomicon. Yeah. Because you have to burn the Necronomicon for for the ritual to work. Also, it's a little loud, so I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit in my ears. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. No! Give me a shot. Ritual top No, that's wrong. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. No, she never got to complete it. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. And we still have it. After preparing the FG, burn the ne burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Yeah, it has to be. Then. Going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. More like can't, but I, I, I get your, 
Oh, Get your spirit. I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. Okay. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy. As long as you use the Necronomicon. That's what not are you even... talking about? There's no way that's possible. It doesn't even say that in the book, Monokuma. But it's true. I never lie about motives. This, hmm. This is unfortunately true. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Oh, God, that, hmm. Man. I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. It, it, hmm. He is all that remains of a once powerful note. Yeah, I don't know why. It, it, it sits wrong with me because it feels like it would be impossible to bring someone back from the dead unless there's some sort of weird science thing going on here. Because. Monokum is right. He doesn't lie about this sort of thing. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. No. Monodum is still alive, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodum's corpse. What the fuck, Montaro? I thought you were chill. Oh? So resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time there's no way it's possible there's no way that could happen idiots monokuma is trying to confuse us <laughs> let's hurry up and find out who the blackened is i agree with maki if our transfer student isn't the culprit then blame falls to one of us who who did it Step aside, Half Pint! I'll handle this! I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie! Oh, you're just saying that because the sword came from his... What? Why? Don't play dumb with me, creep show! I already know what happened! I'm gonna have to just say the door was locked. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. This is true. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see? Yes. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. Yes, I did not means... care about some katana. Mm. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom, broke in. Angie would have let him into the lab? Oh, okay. I was wrong. So I, I know what I need to argue about because that's used a wrong. To kill Angie. And it uh, was I believe it was this. Keo's research lab. Uh, it's Mugi's account. Angie had locked herself in her artist lab since yesterday, working on the rituals. She would not unlock the door unless someone from the student council asked her to do so. Which makes you, Keo, automatic. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. Come on. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom. No, you're wrong. wrong. <sighs> no, Keo would not have been able to enter. Angie's no, lab. because he wasn't a part of the group. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Keo is not a member. 
she wouldn't have opened the door for him. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? That's the highest likelihood. I, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Oh, how clever. Gunta, don't, don't encourage her. You can just ignore her, Gunta. Thank you, Smoogie. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, and Himiko. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. Not true. Yep. Not necessarily true, Kokichi. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? Uh, no, not so much. Yeah, of course. Gonta, you're... Can we trust their friendship so readily? Thank you, Kibo. Obviously. Let's believe in them. Stop that. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Hmm. Why would Kibo kill them? Hmm. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. Not necessarily, like, what, because we're trying to find the killer of Anji, technically. It could also be, um, Tenko. You mean one of those two people? Because a robot ain't people, Jack! Really? I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? What else? The culprit should confess already! Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi? Well... No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. I kind of believe him. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me too. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Oh, great. Torture We're gonna... Gonta if you don't believe. Jesus, Gonta. We're good. We're good. Torture might be a bit too far. But Gonta and I aren't the culprits. Yeah, we're gonna have an all-out debate. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. Gonta, I'm not, not, the culprit. Culprit. not the culprit. Hmm. All right. Uh, we must consider other gentlemen. possibilities. Oh, Jesus Christ. Surely there must be suspects the outside the student council. Student council. That's and you will have impossible for last night. A dead chick Not just can't anyone can open the door. Why? Only Lunch student council members had access. Okay, that's not true. Look, I don't know who the culprit is. 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 So... Surely there must I be think the one thing to break this council. up is... The st only really student council that's members that's had access, because that's not technically true. Not Kokichi technically also had access Why? to the council member. I missed. Got it on the second shot. I heard it. Yep. Nice try, Kokichi. You're trying to slip that under the rug. No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? Not without her permission. I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you, you could, could have. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Kyo pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. There! Open says me! Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? It's a uh, poor excuse. <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, sure. I did it.
Wait. Okay, that's a lie. I killed Angie. That's a lie. Hmm. Wait, what? What did you just say? I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then wham! Killed Angie. Swords do not make a wham sound. The culprit was me all along. The only reason I can think Kokichi would be doing this is because he finds it fun or interesting. Also, fuck off, truck. I heard you out there. Hmm. What? What, what are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. That's a lie. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! What is he getting at? Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? Is he trying to get someone to slip up? No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's lying. I'm certain of it. Yeah, me too. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Not when it's you. <laughs> then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? Well, it's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. That's wrong. No, that doesn't make sense. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. Yeah, that's not how the culprit left. They used a different method. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... The back door. Oh, why? I see. That's it! 